now let's go and use this data to create our surface right click here and create surface you can also use this same command from go to surface uh, menu bar and create surface or you can use the um, tabs to create surface surfaces create surface we'll be using tin, tin surface and the surface name we will be using as original ground level original ground the style will be same as it is description we will keep as it is and we will hit ok nothing has happened because we have not assigned any data to build our surface now we are going to tell to our surface that these points should be used as the basis of our uh, surface no we will just go and expand the surfaces tab and here you can see that this is the surface that we have created just expand it and from definition tab also expand it go down and find point groups right click this point groups add point groups and we will say that original ground levels and trees will be used to build this surface or you can say that all points will be used to build this surface in our case we will say that original ground levels and trees will be used to build this surface when we hit apply and ok a surface will be created you can see how it looks like click it right click and go to object viewer this is how our surface actually looks like this is how our survey uh, has been done this is the survey data that we have received now in the next steps we will switch off the point groups we don't want to see the points we will say point style show none and point label style none apply okay the next thing we are going to use is tree points we don't want to see the trees we don't want to see its label as well apply it and okay and here also we don't want to show anything label style is basic or whatever the next thing we are going to see how the surface behaves right click the surface and surface properties in surface style there are also two things there are a surface style just like we had point style and there is point labels similarly we have surface styles and surface labels for now we are going to see how the surface style works in this case we will just change there are multiple surface styles already assigned in AutoCAD Civil 3D just go here from the list and choose this one apply OK and you can see how the display works right click again go to point surf, uh, surface styles surface properties and I will change from contours and triangles and you can see how the contours and triangles are built to uh, utilize this data that we had entered in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Uh, now we see that some of the data that is extra we don't need to use that data like this point this line it is extra line that we don't want to use just click your surface and you will see here edit surface delete line you can add line delete line add points delete points and there are a lot of more functionalities uh, that you can explore for now we are going to delete some of the lines like this this triangle line we don't want to use in our this data we'll just select it and it will be deleted similarly here 
this point uh, this data we don't want so select it and it will be deleted uh, so this is how you can use this I will hit enter and again I will choose I will click this and go to properties from here also you can change the style of surface we'll just go and select contours 1 meter and 5 meter design this is how it looks like in contours uh, let's change the color and display of this surface by going to change the surface style how the surface looks like simply select the surface right click go to edit surface style this is the surface style that we are using just like in AutoCAD you are using different styles for text styles and dimension styles in AutoCAD Civil 3D the objects like points surfaces alignments profiles corridors cross sections uh, pipe network items each of these objects have different styles just like we have in AutoCAD dimension styles and text styles and here the style that we are going to modify is contours 1 meter and 5 meter design the border looks like this contours are you can see contour interval is 1 meter minor contour is 1 meter major contour is 5 meters so let's go and change it to let's say we have we will be using it as 0.25 or we say 0.5 major con major interval automatically adjust as it as it as per our minor interval so contour depress depression you can check as well you can change the contour smoothing uh, you can see here this curve this end of this contour at the point at my pointer smooth contours we will say true we will make it increase contour smoothing and instead of add vertices we will say make it as a sp line apply okay you can see now these lines are a bit smoother instead of uh, simple things right click go to object viewer and we will see how our surface looks like if there are any invalid points you can delete those points uh, or if you have any invalid data you can detect by going to or your object viewer window and just check your surface before you proceed with any of the um, data operations for with this surface uh, if you have any problem with this surface just modify your surface and then go ahead